What's up guys? If you've been watching this channel, you probably saw a video from a few days ago where I showed off a concept made by a uh, Twitter account. I presume there's a human being running this Twitter account. Technizo concept. And they showed off what they thought the Galaxy Z Flip 5 might look like. You can see here one very large cover display and then a second small cover display. Now in that video, I said it was unclear to me if they were basing this off of any insider information or not. And the way that this uh, concept was being disseminated, shared, and spread on the internet, that was a bit redundant, also made it unclear as to what was going on. Is this simply a concept or is this a some sort of a proposed leak of some sort? Now today, we're going to look at another one of their concepts. This time it's one for the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And this one, I do believe, whether it's related to a leak that they have or not, I do believe this is quite representative of what the Z Fold 5 is actually going to look like. So let's take a look at this other post here. Again, credit to Technizo Concept. And this is, I think, pretty much what the Z Fold 5 is going to end up looking like. You can see here that it does appear to be a little bit thinner then the Z Fold 4, and that is something that we've heard as well, that it's going to be slightly thinner. We're only talking about like fractions of a millimeter. So this might be overdoing it a little bit. When I look at my Z Fold, it does look a little bit thicker than that. But obviously we cannot grab our digital calipers and begin measuring these things with any real accuracy. So we're going to have to just use our imagination a bit there. You will also notice that the camera bump area rather than being one large bump as it is on the z fold 4 they have separated into individual bumps i think that that is very very likely given that it seems to be the design aesthetic samsung seems to be going with with their current phones look at the s23 line of devices they all have individual camera bumps so i think that that makes a lot of sense as well that does tend to happen moving on to the next image here you can see that cover display does appear to be staying pretty much the same which is exactly what we are expecting to see as well. The bezel on the internal screen looks to be basically identical as well. Also what we have been hearing. And then in this last image, you can see probably the most important thing for me, which that it is folding totally flat. That is a really, really big deal for a lot of us. Cannot wait to see how that looks in person. But as you can see here on my Z Fold 4, it does not fold all the way flat, which is going to really make this thing feel much, much, much thinner in the pocket because you aren't going to have that wedge shape thing going on. It's going to actually just be a flat device. Now, obviously, something that you're not going to see on these concepts is the crease, which is also purportedly going to be improving quite a bit with this new dumbbell or water drop hinge design. That's what's allowing it to fold flat. It should allow that crease to look a lot less visible. Overall, I do think just from an aesthetics side of things, I think that this does look pretty good. Being able to fold flat is a really, really big deal. I wish that the screen sizes, the aspect ratio, would shift around a little bit, but even if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I think that this is already such a great solid device that, you know, kind of smoothing over some of those rough edges like the crease, like the wedge shaped nature of it. I think it's gonna go a long ways towards making this device feel way better in your hand. I think people are underestimating how much smaller it's gonna feel in your hand when it folds flat. If you've been using a fold four and you've had a case on it for a long time, Take that case off and you're going to go, oh my lord, this thing feels so felt, it feels so small, so thin. Now imagine it going even thinner than that. It's going to feel better in your hand than I think people are necessarily realizing that it's going to feel. And then of course, you know, the upgrades, we're going to be getting the new system on a chip that should be much more fuel efficient, should improve the battery life. And then your obvious improvements that you get every year where the cameras get, you know, marginally better each year. We're going to be seeing that stuff as well. I think that the Fold 5 is going to be a real contender. And hopefully we've got the Pixel Fold out already, which I think is looking tremendous as it is. It's going to be folding flat as well. It's going to have that wider, shorter aspect ratio that I have been craving. So things are going to be really interesting in the foldable space here coming up very, very soon. But like I said, the Fold 5, I think, is going to be as strong of a competitor as there is in the market. It's going to be a very refined device. The Fold 5 in particular, I think, they're really refining this thing to the point that there's really not going to be much when you look at it 
to complain about it, unless you just don't like the aspect ratio. But if that's the case, there are other foldables that are going to be on the market by that point anyways. So if this is their vision, this is pretty much like the completion of their vision of the Fold 5, at least as far as I'm concerned. There's really no glaring issues left at this point. So guys, huge shout out to Technizo Concept for this concept render, which I do believe will be quite representative of what the real device is going to look like. If you want to see more content just like this, hit that subscribe button before you go. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.